Hi, this is Rich from Metamolecular. I recently gave a talk at the American Chemical Society meeting, and I used my iPad to run my slide deck. Now, this worked out really well, but it was difficult to figure out how to put everything together to get it to work. So I thought I'd create this short video to show you step by step how you can use your iPad to run your next slide deck. Before we begin, there's a couple of things you're going to need. The first is a copy of Keynote. Keynote is a piece of presentation software created by Apple that works a lot like PowerPoint. One of the nice things about Keynote is that it features an iPad version that you can buy from the App Store. You're going to need both uh, Keynote for your desktop and Keynote for your iPad. The second thing you'll need is a piece of hardware and it's called the Apple VGA adapter. What this does is plug into your iPad sync port and connect on the other end to a VGA cable. What this lets you do is um, essentially use your iPad anywhere to, to run your slide deck because VGA output is supported um, by most presentation video, um, uh, venues. Okay, so with the prerequisites out of the way, next thing you'll need is a keynote presentation and I've just gone ahead and created a very simple uh, dummy presentation here. Go ahead and save this anywhere. Desktop works fine. Then go ahead and open up iTunes. Now there are at least a couple of different ways to get a keynote presentation onto your iPad. The way that I'm going to show you will work um, regardless of whether or not you have an internet connection. And this can be pretty helpful especially if you're traveling. If you have your sync cable connected to your iPad and your and your desktop or laptop machine, um, you should under devices be able to see it. Go ahead and click on um, your device and click on the apps tab. Now way down at the bottom where it's easy to miss is something called file sharing. Turns out that if you scroll down this lists all of the apps that you currently have that are capable of file sharing. And you can see I have three of them. One of them turns out to be Keynote. If I click on the Keynote icon, then I get um, a, uh, a list of documents that uh, Keynote knows about. And currently there's nothing in there, but I can change that by clicking on the Add button. Go ahead and click on the presentation that you want to import and click the open button. Now at this point the presentation isn't actually on the iPad. It's in the area that iTunes uses to synchronize files between the, um, the desktop machine and the iPad. So to actually get the presentation loaded you'll have to use your iPad. Now I don't have the ability to capture um, video output from my iPad. So instead I prepared a series of screenshots. So open up Keynote on your iPad and you should see a plus button in the upper left hand corner. If you tap it you'll get a dialog that lets you choose to either create a presentation or um, load a presentation from somewhere else and one of the options is iTunes. Now if you click on that iTunes button, you'll get a, a dialog that will ask you to choose which of the files um, that you currently have in the synchronization area that you'd like to copy over into Keynote. If you click on the test one, then that will add the test presentation to your iPad copy of Keynote. You can see that uh, this happens to be in the upper left hand corner of this screenshot. If you tap on that presentation, then it will open. And you'll notice that it's essentially the same version that you had running on uh, your Mac. There are some pretty nice features that the iPad version of Keynote has, and I'd like to just tell you about one that you notice as you're giving your presentation. So it turns out that uh, 
if you've used Keynote before, you know that one of the helpful things is you have a timer and then you can also show the, the current in the next slide to help, uh, you know, to help you actually give the presentation and stay organized. Um, and the iPad version of Keynote offers a similar kind of feature. So here I have a screenshot of a presentation actually being run. Um, you actually see on your iPad a different view than what's displayed on the screen and that's all set up automatically. I found it to be uh, very, very foolproof. Um, the, uh, but you have some options. So you can choose either to see the current slide or there are other options as well. But I found this layout to be especially helpful. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.